Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here right now to show you the Rock Drake. Now, the Rock Drake, this is our Dino Day review series, and this is probably up there. I mean, because it's on Aberration, which is probably my favorite map, it's up there for one of my most used tames and my favorite overalls. Now, obviously you only get the 70 levels, but we're on a server where we get 88 right now. Um, they have some just amazing features they are great dinos overall they've got great health they've got pretty good damage they've got awesome weight stamina all of it now how would you level this thing now first off usually what i do is i pump some levels into stam i usually like to have it around 2500 that's just where i like to sit because i don't like to have to worry about you know literally moving around at all uh, health wise 15k 20k is pretty standard for health on these things uh, melee damage can shift a lot depending on what you want to do with it. Weight can be pretty popular if you want one to move around the map, but health can also be just a generally good thing to have on them. Uh, that's just, you know, how they work. Now, it's very rare to get one that'll ever hit 30k health. Now, obviously, it does happen, but it's not very common, obviously. Um, so with these things, what really are they good for? Because, you know, obviously they're pretty awesome looking. They can f fly, all that kind of stuff. So they've got a bunch of basic roles. One, they're pretty much the only tame you want to use in order to tame basilisks because you basically throw a basilisk, an egg off the back, hop back on, soak a little bit, and then the basilisk will eat the egg, and then you just repeat the process until you tame said basilisk. Now, what else are they good for? They're good at, good at getting rock drake eggs because they're the only technical flyer on Aberration. I don't know why Mana Garmer are allowed on aberration but that's not my concern and these things are just amazing overall creatures so you can see i'm at a high point right now so the special abilities these guys have they do have a normal bite they have a right click which allows them to grip onto surfaces climb upside down all of that stuff they do actually have a tertiary attack that allows them to go invisible yes invisible it's not complete invisibility and it's kind of like crappy invisibility actually because it's like almost like you notice it quicker than anything else but if you're not moving at all this invisibility thing can be quite useful and it's kind of easy to hide especially if your drake is bright colors like mine is um, and it does slowly use your stamina over time it's just really 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 slow so oh well now next thing this thing is well known for its ability to fly now when it comes to flying what you want to do with this guy is pretty easy you just want to run, jump, and then as long as you have like a gliding ability to go downhill, this thing will continue to glide through the air. As soon as you look up, it'll fall out of the sky because it loses momentum. It doesn't work like a normal flyer. It can't create its own wind or lift, if you want to call it that. So it actually has to glide like you see here, but it's a pretty good overall tape. Now, for the purpose of flying through the air, it's really fast. It's one of the fastest flyers in the game. Now, obviously, you can see right now it's moving pretty quickly, but where it really excels is if you start pointing downhill just a little bit, you can actually run along the ground pretty quickly and do this bolt attack like you see right there. You saw that little, like, indicator show up. And you can stay pretty low to the ground and actually accomplish this little bolt attack. See that right there? And he'll, like, super speed to the nearest block. Now you can just continue to do that above the ground and uh, he'll just keep jumping, which is pretty awesome. And there's not much in the game that has a chance on catching you. There, I mean, there's literally nothing. I don't know how you could possibly be caught like this. And then another awesome thing is because he has the ability to jump out of the water, like you see me doing right here. Um, this guy can go into the water and swim shockingly well um, for at least a giant, you know, drake looking thing uh, he's pretty good oxygen too so you can go under the water for quite a distance and then just like lose people in that way because flyers obviously don't go under the water so easy to lose people there now as a whole what else does he do now the rock drake is pretty good at a bunch of different things but where he really excels is really unfairly rating because what, what why did you just kick me off i just switched your saddle out that's all um, you just put some element in him, and the Rock Drake, just like the Tech Rex, just like uh, the Mosasaurus, the Shark, all that kind of stuff, has a Tech Saddle that allows it to shoot at 4% a shot out of the saddle, if you want to call it that. You can see that you can't see over it, so you have to be in third-person mode. Um, 
and he just is really, really good at raiding because this thing can just shred. And uh, yeah, this gives it a huge ability boost. And because people a lot of times have sky bases and stuff like that, which you can do with the Rock Drake, unlike the Rex, unlike the Mosasaurus, unlike the Mega Megalodon, you can get next to somebody's base, hang upside down, anything you need to, and shoot their base with your Rock Drake. Now, obviously, that's a pretty awesome ability because he can just sit like this, enter his little control mode, and then boom, boom. Yeah, and it does a splash effect, so you can kind of just pretty much shred anything you want to down there. Um, and you can easily sit above somebody while doing this. It's really good for raid defenses and raid attacks because you can sit here just like you see me. Let's say someone's on their Rex or someone's on their Paraceratherium. If you just continue to... Uh, uh, for lack of a better word, continue to stay above them and shoot that box that people typically put themselves inside of. It will shred and break the box, uh, but you don't have to do that. He also has a really strong primary attack. That 366 damage is a very big damage, um, especially because I didn't really level this guy into melee at all, but they do a pretty good amount of damage. Now, another pretty awesome thing is if you're flying with these things uh, and you manage to hit something with one of these little strafe buys you see it does a huge amount of like pound damage that was about a thousand give or take and uh, a lot of people it'll one shot them because it's, it's just pretty awesome attack so that's just how it works um you can see that this guy a lot of stamina not really a concern if you're a stamina user you can kind of get around the map however you want rock drakes as a whole are just pretty awesome little creatures and uh so basically what you want to do is take care of yourself with these rock drakes because they're super fast super fun to use i really enjoy them and uh, as a whole pretty awesome tames so anyways hopefully this video helps you out a little bit and uh other than that teach out